Hi y'all, welcome to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing an unboxing of this oh my goodness heavy <laughs> box of curriculum from the good and the beautiful so stay tuned Alright you guys, well welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Adina and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, seven and under. And on this channel I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling and encouraging mamas in their faith. And in this amazing, even though it can be a little bit crazy some days, <laughs> this, it's still an amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey then click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys, well, it's that time of year again. We are going through all of the different curriculums. We're seeing what is out there and seeing if we wanna use something again or if we don't want to. And um, I just really enjoy this time of the year because it's like you're starting fresh and it's just so much fun. Um, and I'm so excited because this video is in partnership with The Good and The Beautiful. If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that we love The Good and The Beautiful curriculum. And so I'm so excited that I get to partner with them in spreading just the word of this curriculum around because it has been so amazing in our homeschool. It has given me confidence as a teacher to my kids and it has helped me give my kids just an amazing and peaceful and godly education. So I'm so thankful for the good and the beautiful for partnering with me in this. So before I get into this box, I've got my knife here because if you you know anything about the good and the beautiful you know that they pack their stuff well like I'm saying layers and layers of bubble wrap in here and so if you have a box from the good and the beautiful make sure you have a knife or scissors or something sharp that you can open this with so before I get into the box let me tell you what grades my kids are going into and this might sound familiar to you from last year if you have seen my videos from last year but my kids are going into the second grade <laughs> the first grade and then kindergarten and then we have one kind of coming up into kind of early preschool and so what happened is my first grader and my kindergartner actually did about two years of first grade and, and kindergarten. And I have details on why we did that, how that happened, um, why we decided to just kind of continue with those books instead of doing something else. And I will leave those videos down in the description box below um, just to kind of give you an update and it's kind of where we're at. So because of that, I already had the curriculum for um, second grade and for first grade. So what you're gonna see in here is just everything else that we needed for the next school year. So let's get into this box. Okay, so I just opened it up and I'm gonna cover my information here, but I'm gonna show you what you will see when you get one of these. It says, welcome to a good and beautiful education. And on the other side, it's got goodandbeautiful.com. But it's just so pretty. This is one of my favorite colors. And so if you open it up, you can see, oh, that noise, sorry. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Like we can't even see the books inside here. <laughs> All right, so we've got this. Oh, I'm sorry for the plasticky noise. Oh, I don't really like that noise. Um, <laughs> But, and then we've got this one. So I'm gonna open these up off camera because I don't know if you wanna hear that plasticky noise, but I'm gonna open these up and then I'm gonna show you what we've got. Okay, so I opened up the first little bundle that was in there and this is what it is to start out with. So like I said, one of my children, my fourth child is coming up into like early preschool-ish. She's gonna be three and a half when we start the next school year. And so I am going to do um, letter of the week program, but sometimes I like to do the letter of the week program with the good and the beautiful pre-K, just depending on where the child is at. So I did get the pre-K from the good and the beautiful. Now I already have this, um, but some of the, um, like activity packs, gosh, I've had this for like 
three years, I think. Um, but some of the activity things have kind of, um, over the years, just kind of torn a little bit. I didn't laminate anything. Um, and it stood up pretty well. Um, it's just recently that it's, everybody has been wanting to play with them. And so I figured, well, let's just get another one because I do also have another child, my fifth child, that will be coming up also so let's just start fresh and get a new thing um so the first thing okay so the things that you get in with the pre-k level when you order it it's the pre-k um course book and guys look at this oh i'm not it's just so pretty and it's so much fun. I've done this with most of my kids and it's just so much fun. Just the activities, they love this one. Usually it's match the first letter, but for um, but sometimes they do match the last letter, like towards the end of the book. Um, and they just learn about the different letters and it's just so much, uh, it's just so fun. Like the kids just really love it. It is just made well for kids and the lessons are short. They're fun. They're easy. Ugh, I just love this pre-K course. The next thing you get are these flip books. You get it for letters A through F, letters G through L, um, letters M through S, and letters T through Z. And these flip books my kids really like these and this is i wanted to get another one because my kids like want to take these to their rooms so um so you just cut here if you can see you can see a dotted line right here you just cut those and then the kids go through and flip and they try to find you know the uppercase that matches the lowercase that matches what the first letter of whatever animal it is and so it's just so neat i love these i love these they're just so much fun and i can even use these you know just says games outside of the actual curriculum. Like, it's just really neat. And then this is the pre-K activity pack. It's packed up, so I'm not gonna open this right now because then it's just gonna fly everywhere and I'm not ready to use it yet. Um, but it's got all a bunch of games. So it's got Feed the Elephant, Letter Cube, Mouse House, which my kids love. Um, hide and seek pets, swat the fly, which is another one they really love, um, a number slider, and a letter memory game. Like the memory game, and you can play the memory game like three different ways. I just love it. I love it. Okay, so that was the activity, or that was the um, pre K course. The next thing that I got for my, she's my pre K girl now but she's going into kindergarten i can't even believe it so obviously i got the kindergarten language arts and this is so good this is the newer edition and i think the newer edition has been out for a couple of years so i don't know if anybody still has the older edition but um we love this one and it it incorporates oh my goodness i don't remember this page <laughs> Oh my goodness, are there some new stuff in here? I don't know. But it incorporates, look at that, this is like a spelling activity for them, so good. I think my boy still has his hanging in his room. So, but it incorporates artwork, like real artwork into these lessons. And the Good and the Beautiful is so good at doing that throughout their language arts curriculum. And uh, I just love it. I love it, because they're exposed to art, you know, and they kind of learn how to look at the shading and the lighting and the details, looking at the different types of art. Is it impressionist? Is it realism? And giving them that vocabulary early, so that way, you know, when they see it later on, they can recognize it. Um, so yeah, so this one has, I think 120 lessons. Yes, 120 lessons. So this is the language arts level K, so the kindergarten. Now I will say their levels are advanced. So say you have a first grader and you're not sure where to start the first grader. Um, if you were in another curriculum, I would say probably start in level K um, just because because the level K kind of sits in the like late kindergarten, early first grade area. And so, and so I would definitely say start a level down and then you can go as fast as you want and then you can get to wherever, you know, your child actually is at the time. So don't worry, the levels don't correspond with grades. They're just levels. So you can have a fifth grader in level four and that's completely fine. Um, and then here, and then they have mini books. And again, this is packaged, so I'm not gonna open these, but um, you just kind of cut them up and staple them together. And I do have our old ones, and our old ones, 
I've had those gosh for three years I think and they're fine but they did update them so I wanted to get the newer updated versions of it so yeah so I'm excited to put these mini books together I love that kind of stuff I love like laminating and and cutting and stapling and you know kind of just putting things together so I just love all of that <laughs> so I'm gonna have fun doing that um, the next thing they have here is their reader so level K reader and my um, kindergartner just finished this um, gosh no he's he's gonna finish it tomorrow my kindergartner that's going into first grade um, so this is so cute and he is loving these he loves the little pictures and he's just like oh look that's a little bit different and, and they're just kind of like old school like um, kind of like what is it um, Dick and Jane type of books and it's just so they're just beautiful. Like we don't find that kind of artwork anymore. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and then the next thing that comes with the level K are the phonics cards. And the phonics cards actually go from level K through level two. So if you have a kindergartner coming up and um, you get the, the whole course book set, um, these will actually stay with him until second grade or until level Two. I just decided to go ahead and get another set because I didn't honestly know if my current kindergartner was gonna finish before my other kindergartner came up. <laughs> so, so I just went ahead and got another another set. So we'll see we'll see how that all goes. Um, and I've got one more thing in here, but I want to save it for later because it kind of goes with um, something else that I have in this other bundle. Okay, so now I'm gonna open this other bundle. Sorry, I hate that sound. Okay, I'm gonna open this other bundle. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've opened the other bundle and the first thing that is up here on top are all of our handwriting books. So we've got, again, my um, kind of toddler, tot schooler right now is coming up into early pre-K, so I got her doodles and pre-writing book. And this one is very much just like shapes kind of coloring pictures. And then later on in another, and then like, I think it's got like four sections or three sections. Later on, you start doing like the actual numbers. Or nope, letters. I know the difference between numbers and letters. <laughs> so you start doing the numbers. See, she can trace it real big and then she colors the giraffe. And then the H is right here, so she'll color the H. Um, and then the horse you know and so um and then that goes from a all the way to z and at the end it's got a little congratulations you know certificate and all i think almost all of the um items from the good and the beautiful has that kind of certificate which i love i love doing like an end of year um kind of memory binder for them and having those certificates being able to give them those is just so neat and they're just like oh my goodness this is so wonderful you know <laughs> it's got their name on it and stuff and so they just really like that kind of stuff and now this one is level one and this one is actually for my upcoming kindergartner she's already done the pre the doodle ones that she's done she's on level k right now um, for handwriting and so i got the level one so when she finishes her level k she can just go right into that and now this one these are just great i love these so this is all still print in level one um, so they trace a lot of the time and then they're copying pictures they're coloring pictures um then they're writing like sentences god made plants you know so there's just there's just a variety it's not the same thing over and over in these handwriting books and that's what i love about them because we have we have used other handwriting curriculums where it was the same thing over and over every day and um i found that my kids were just getting a little bit bored with it and a little bit lazy with their handwriting so i just love that the good and the beautiful has handwriting that has a variety and makes it kind of fun instead of just you know copy work you know so um which n there's nothing wrong with copy work i love me some good copy work um but specifically for handwriting it's i like i like the variety so this is level one and then i have here level two for my upcoming first grader um you see how levels can kind of just be wherever <laughs> 
So he's finishing up his level one right now. And again, this is just, this is, um, it starts off pretty slow. Tracing, and I love that it does this. It's It works on them printing their first name and their last name. I really like that because honestly, like when I first started, I, I had forgotten to teach them how to write their name. <laughs> So it was a good reminder and then I forgot to teach them how to write their last name. So <laughs> See just use the good and the beautiful then you won't miss anything. You won't miss any gaps <laughs> um, So this one specifically says to draw a picture Oh, and I love when they do this where they give them parts of the picture and then they give them prompts like um, Draw a scene by adding clouds and water and etc. So draw drawing like the background of Everything and I really like that because it, it helps them a little but then they once they get going on it Like it's like oh and I can put this and I can add this and so it's just really great This one's not all tracing that was review. Um, it definitely has more um, where they write it out themselves And then this is a neat dot to dot and it goes gosh. I think it's 1 to 83 1 to 83, here's another dot to dot, and it's 1 to 82. So yeah, so that's kind of like the beginning of the book. And then towards the end of the book, oh, this is good. So this is, they've got copy work, so they've got trace, you trace it, and then you copy it. And same thing down here, well, you don't, I guess, not trace it, but you know, you copy the letters on, like right next to them, which is really great. And then down here, it focuses a little bit more on making sure that they are really writing their letters correctly. And then over here, it says, draw a picture of lightning, rain, and ocean, hearts, or stars. So it gives them prompts again on, you know, what to draw. It's not just a blank sp space and say, draw anything, you know? Sometimes it does do that, but, but a lot of times it'll give them prompts. Um, so yeah, so that is level two handwriting. And then the last one that I got is level four handwriting now they do start cursive in level three so level three is what my um first grader was doing all this year and so it continues on it has just review at the beginning just reviewing all of the different um letters in cursive and then oh this is nice it's got where she um copies a sentence right there and then she has to write each letter below in cursive. So she's got the A, but then she has to write the A in cursive right next to it. Um, and then again, it's got the little, so it's a ladder, and then it prompts her to, to just kind of, what does it say? Um, draw a fruit tree uh, beside the ladder, and it says apple tree, peach tree, lemon tree. So that's kind of neat. That's funny, she's gonna wanna look up what each of those look like, and so that way she can draw it correctly. I can already, I can already tell that. And then they have just fun little games like this where it's mazes, um, where they're still practicing their handwriting, even coloring, you know, they're practicing their grip and all of that, but it's in just a fun way. It's not just copying words on a piece of paper, you know? So yeah, so that is level four of the Good and the Beautiful Handwriting. The next thing that we have is typing one. Now my second grader, my oldest, um, she is wanting to learn how to type. She's wanting to learn how to use my computer. <laughs> so big girl computer and she sees me typing on it and she's like, well, how can you type so fast? So we are going to try this. I think the first level that it recommends to try it is second grade. So we are going to try it. I honestly have not even, um, oh my gosh, it's got stickers. <laughs> I haven't even like looked at these. So each of these are stickers. I don't know why. I'm assuming we put the sticker on whenever they finish the lesson, maybe. Um, all right, and then it's got like parts of a keyboard. Um, if you'd like a flip through of this of, or of any of these, just let me know. I, I don't, I'm not really sure how this works. Again, like I said, so this is like, so the lessons seem pretty easy, pretty short. So this is lesson three. This is lesson four after a few lessons of introduction and just trying to get them familiar with the keyboard because something that I have noticed that they are a little bit confused on is that it doesn't go in order. It's not like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So when they are looking at a keyboard or like on my phone um, where you know I'm texting or something like that, they're trying to text also and they're just like, I, I don't know where this letter is. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so um, I'm looking forward to kind of getting her a little bit more familiar with the keyboard that's not only on um, our computers, but it's also on our tablets and on our phones. So, um, so that is typing one. I love typing, you guys. Like I have always loved typing. So I'm excited for her to, to um, figure all of that out. The next thing we've got is just something fun. We have Drawing 100 Fun and Easy Trees. And this is a step-by-step -step, um, drawing instructions guide. So if you see here, step one, draw the, just that line. Step two, make it a triangle or a cone. Um, and then, am I going the right way? Yes, <laughs> step three, you know. So it's really easy for them to just go step-by-step. -step. It reminds me of, um, that art for kids hub i will leave that link down below if you have not seen it it's a dad and he is just going step by step drawing with his kids or with his wife and it's just so neat and um, my kids and i have done that a few times and we absolutely love it and so um, this is something though that they can do during quiet time which is probably how I'm going to offer it to them. Or say that one of the handwriting books say, you know, draw a background with trees or whatever. Then we can go grab this book and they can learn how to draw one of the trees. Um, look, this is so neat. I just saw this right now. It says, complete the scenery by tracing the trees and then adding some of your own trees. So look at that, that's so beautiful. So they can go in and they can trace these trees but then they can go in and add some more of their own trees. I love that. It also has in the back, um, these are their books, um, Draw Vintage Images, and we have level one. They have level one through five. And like I said, we have level one and my kids have really liked it. And you know, they go through seasons of they love it and they wanna draw all of it. And then it kind of sits in our bin for a little bit and then they wanna draw it all again. So, um, so these books can definitely grow with your child, but then it can also be passed down from child to child. So I'm really looking forward to utilizing this with kind of like our art time and different things like that. And the last thing I wanna show you guys is our unit study one of the unit studies that we are going to be doing not next year but probably over the summertime and that is arthropods i am so excited ever since this came out i have been wanting to do this i do not like bugs you guys i hate bugs like just like just like seeing these pictures like <laughs> grosses me out <laughs> so um prayers would be would be appreciated um, but I am just excited because I don't want my kids to fear insects or arthropods or whatever I haven't taken it I haven't done it yet so I'm not I'm not up on the terminology of everything but I don't want my kids to fear bugs and so um, I wanted to take this so that way they're more interested in them and not scared of them and so the other thing that I had in that other bundle that um, I told you I would share a little bit later was the book pack for this unit study. So the first book we have here is Fiddler Crab. And so this is just the recommended book pack to go along with arthropods and i know they used to have like the little flip books and stuff like that but i don't think they actually have those anymore but i love these picture books their picture books are some of the most beautiful like picture books that i've ever seen they're just so pretty and they're engaging and my kids love it, especially my oldest. She can sit, and that looked like it was a lot of words on like one single page, but she could just sit and listen to me read all day long. Um, so that one was um, the story of Maria Marion. And then this one is the boy who loved bugs. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I want my boy to love bugs. I don't want him to be scared of bugs because one day he's gonna grow up and he's gonna become a husband and he's going to need to squash some bugs for his wife because <laughs> that's just how it goes, right? <laughs> my husband does it for me all the time. So I will flip it this way. Oh, oh look at that, that's so pretty. Okay, so this is the story of Jean Henri Faber, <laughs> uh, 
Jean Henry Faber, which who I am not sure who that is yet. So I am excited. Look how colorful that is, like full colors, full pages, guys. Um, I am excited to learn more about Jean Henri. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, bugs. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm ready for this unit study <laughs> because I really don't like bugs, but bugs are part of God's creation, right? So I am trying to learn to appreciate them and all of the amazing things that they do. Um, they're not just pests, they are part of how God created the world and the way that he has put everything together to work together for a complete world. So I'm just excited. I'm excited for that one. And let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do kind of an overall, like what we're using with all of arthropods, because I think I am going to get extra things like a butterfly um, kit you know where you can see the caterpillars turn into butterflies? Um, I don't know what that's called, but I'm going to get that and um, a few other books and games to go along with this unit study. And we are gonna do this unit study, like I said, over the summer, and we are just going to focus on that um, for, I don't know, whatever it is, like three weeks or whatever, how long it takes to do that. So. So one more thing that I wanted to share you guys about the Good and the Beautiful curriculum is most of you know that they are coming out with a brand new math line, like a whole new math line. And I am excited that they are going to send me the different levels that I need, which are math level two, level one, and level K. They're gonna send me those as soon as they become available. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, because you know that I'm going to be doing an unboxing of those and probably a flip through video of those, um, because not a lot of people know what they look like on the inside, but if you go to thegoodandthebeautiful.com, they actually do have samples of their up and coming math if you are interested in that before it comes out. And the new math line is coming out in August of 2021, so I am so excited for it. All right, you guys, well, that was my unboxing of the curriculum that I got recently from The Good and the Beautiful, and, and I will probably also get cur other curriculum from um, other different companies to just kind of fill in. We use The Good and the Beautiful as our spine, but then when we fill in, you know, we supplement with other things. So I will definitely let you know when that happens. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on what goes on around here on a daily basis. All right, you guys, well, I hope that you are having a blessed day and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. And I am a hate, hate, <laughs> mm. Well. Oh, this noise makes me cringe. I <laughs> hope I'll be able to open this. Gotta be smarter than the packaging, right? I guess it's like a test. Like, if you can open this, you can homeschool. <laughs> Some of the most beautiful. Ooh, I just slapped myself in the face.